Wondering how much house you can afford? Hey, real estate friends, what's going on? It's Mike Gold here with Remax Alliance. Thank you so much for tuning in today's blog post where I'm gonna highlight a very important question that I get asked all the time, and that is, Mike, how much house can we actually afford? And this is usually a question that we answer before talking with the lender. So again, the very important first step that you need to be thinking about is talking to your real estate agent and they can start to answer and uncover this very first part of your financial journey. But also, before you go take a look at home, make sure that you validated this information and have your pre-qualification letter in hand and ready to go. Okay, so how much home can you actually afford? First, let's review the 28 and 36% rule. 28%, this is your housing ratio. This means that your total income, gross, not net, and your house payment is not going to exceed 28% of that dollar amount. This is your total house payment. It's your principal, your interest, your taxes, your insurance, and potentially any sort of HOA fees. Debt to income ratio. This is the 36%. So what they're going to do is they're gonna take that total housing expense that I just explained earlier, and now we're gonna add in any student loans, car loans, any other debt obligations that you have get added on to that dollar amount for your housing expense and that dollar amount needs to not exceed 38% of your total gross income. Okay, this is all fine and good, but how does this equate to price? Well, first, it certainly depends upon how much you're putting down. If you're putting down less than 20%, you're gonna have private mortgage insurance, which gets added to your house expense. In addition to your down payment, you also need to be forecasting your closing costs and expenses and this can roughly be anywhere between two to four percent of the loan amount to cover your lender fees appraisal tax credit report fees as well as any sort of points and origination that you might be being charged on this loan second in addition to the down payment you need to factor what your interest rate is going to be are you going to be utilizing an arm adjustable rate mortgage five seven year and ten year products can be very different than what a 30 year product is. And if you're a Dave Ramsey follower, you might be thinking that you want to do a 15 year mortgage product. Those interest rates can vary over those different loan options. Lastly is condo and HOA fees. This truly depends upon the property that you're buying. Typically a condo and townhome are gonna have much higher HOA fees than if you're buying a single family home in a PUD or plan unit development and subsequently that monthly expenditure could only just cover common area maintenance and trash, whereas condo and townhomes are going to also incorporate some component of the insurance and be significantly higher. Still feel a bit unsure? No worries, that's why I'm here. Send me a message, call, click, or email at the information below and I'd be happy to sit down with you and review prior to you actually talking with a lender how this 26, 38% rule can come into play for you and your home buying journey.